and that the 2011 North America Out Games, the athletes come from all walks of life. There are even straight allies competing in the sports. Speaking of allies, everyone is invited to come and learn the moves for the flash mob that's happening at 3 p.m. for the closing ceremonies on Saturday. Our reporter Jade Simpson caught up with those organizers and learned a couple of the moves herself. Welcome everybody to uh, the Diversity Project's performance this afternoon. Callan Brecken founded the Diversity Project to make a difference. It's to promote love and compassion through diversity, education and understanding for not only the LGBT community but for all walks of life and we work mostly with youth so it's kind of our focal point and we, we want to work on going into high schools and actually doing educational programs there. The Diversity Project is responsible for a key portion of the Out Games closing ceremonies. On July 30th from 1 till 3, we're going to uh, start off with a fashion show by Mogo Wear, our t-shirt sponsors. And then we have Tyrell Witherspoon and Tanya Aganaba, who are local Vancouver performers. Then we have Will Blunderfield, who he's a local performer as well, but he's uh, recorded a duet with Biff Naked. And then we have Rosette Love, who's another local performer, but has international success with her hit song, Fire, featuring the Sun Lovers. And for the finale, the Diversity Project has planned something special. Then we're going to finish off with the flash mob dance with Mackenzie Green and Natalie Heath from So You Think You Can Dance Canada Season 3. In preparation for the closing ceremonies, I thought I'd brush up on the dance moves. To learn them yourself, check out the diversityproject.ca. In Vancouver, I'm Jade Simpson for Outgames TV. You're watching Outgame TV's coverage of the 2011 North America Outgames.